uh, if I do the FBD in all three cases, first of all, uh, being the motion in all three cases, the motion of the block M has to be on horizontal surface. So, friction force will also be horizontal, right. So, that is why the effort countable to move the mass must be horizontal. That is why in all three cases, we will consider the horizontal force overcoming limiting friction. So, this first case the FBD suggests F1 cos 30 horizontal, F1 sin 30 vertical, right. And in first case, if I consider N1 be the normal contact force, right. If I consider N1 is the normal contact force, then friction which can be used here that is mu N1. So, argument wise, I can write down in this case N1 plus F1 sin 30. F1 sin 30 means F1 by 2, right? That is equal to weight of the block Mg. So, here I can get N1 is equal to Mg minus F by 2. Therefore, the applied force which is F1 cos 30 at limiting equilibrium need to be equal to mu N1. Yes or no? So, here I can say the numerically F1 cos 30 means root 3 by 2 that will be equal to mu into N1. N1 I can write down mg minus f by 2, right. So, then if I collect f1 together, it will be mu mg divided by the total coefficient of f will be root under 3 by 2 plus mu. Is there is any doubt? This is the calculation relating to the case number 1, right. In case number 2, in case number 2 straight way, the normal contact force N2 alone is equal to mg. So, friction need to be mu into N2. So, in the second case, straight way F2 need to overcome mu N2 and that is equal to mu mg. This is about the second case. Similarly, in third case, Third case applied force is obliquely downward at 30 degree that is F3. Here I can resolve F3 bringing horizontal and vertical. Horizontal effect is F3 cos 30 and vertically downward will be F3 sin 30. So that will be added with the mg of the block so that this time N3 is this, right? So I can write down. First of all, N3 that is equal to Mg plus F3 by 2 because sin 30 is half. And second equation I can write down F3 cos 30 that is F3 into root 3 by 2 that should be equal to mu N3, right? Friction force here will be mu into N3. So, therefore, F3 into root 3 by 2 that is equal to mu n3 instead of n3 I can write down mg minus f3 by 2. Are you getting me or not? Sorry plus mg plus f3 by 2. So, all together f3 can be written mu mg divided by root under 3 by 2 minus mu by 2. Here also it will be mu by 2, sorry. So, these are the three results in three cases. These are the three results in three cases. You can compare the calculation along with the FBD. It is quite obvious. I explained it while explaining the theoretical part. I said that, I said it earlier that whenever, whenever the normal reaction will be maximum their limiting friction force will be maximum. So, it is according to the position of F1, F2, F3. It is clear from the FBD that if you add on the mass something vertically downward, then that additional force will get added with Mg and that will increase normal contact force. That has happened in the third case, isn't it? 
third case normal contact force is maximum and it is minimum in first case because first case normal contact force plus the component of applied force which is acting vertically upward they are together f1 sin component and n1 they are together balancing mg so n1 is individually less than mg so in first case n1 is less than mg in second case n2 is equal to mg and in third case n3 is more than mg so limiting friction is maximum in case 3 isn't it and limiting friction is minimum in case 1 so least the limiting uh, friction least you need to apply an effort right yes or no more the limiting friction more you need to apply an effort so and that i have completed not only by this argument i have completed it with the calculation also you can see all three calculations the numerator part constant that is mu mg so whoever having minimum denominator must be having maximum force so in the third case you can see minimum value of denominator right so resulting that is the maximum magnitude of the force applied in three cases so the sequence will be the sequence will be f1 less than f2 which is less than f3 this will be the answer right